Shimber me timbers and call me the fourth day of Christmas. Ha! Ah, wow, you guys, you guys have made it quite far, actually. I still have a lot of wonderful, crazy, exciting, yeah, decks that we could say. So, what are we doing for today? Well, I have some more Troll and Toad credit to give out to one of you guys. If you guys want to win this fantastic credit, please... All you gotta do is make sure you like the video, make sure you guys comment on the video, make sure that you guys are subscribed to the channel so you guys don't miss out on the next, what is it, eight days? Christmas frickin' Eve, alright? I believe 6 to 7 EST. We're gonna be doing a Tournament of Madness. So you guys are gonna get to see me here all night long while a chunk of you decide that you wanna duel it out for some prizes on probably one of the funnest nights of the year. Actually, it's probably gonna be the highlight of my year. And I'm freaking looking forward to it, as you guys should too. So make sure you guys get entered into win that store credit. Um, I do have packages coming from Yu-Gi-Oh! Black Market, and we have stuff coming from Gem as well for the Christmas series. So some more stuff for your beautiful faces to look forward to. I think it's going to be a beautiful, beautiful Christmas this year. One of the best, actually it might be the best I've ever had actually. Wow, it took me being 30 to say that. Alright, let's dig on into this fantastic deck profile, shall we? What in the vanilla craziness am I actually trying to pawn off on you guys today? Let me tell you a story. I always am a sucker when I see stupid <laughs> ideas like this. And considering we have one of the biggest stinky poo poo ideas in the entire format sitting on our front desk here, I figured we probably should explore this. This is what happens when any two monsters combine together, mate, you know, have a, have a good time, and they form this concoction called the Verte Anaconda. Well, Sometimes the Vertame machine will go burr and spit out this Dragoon Man. Now, downside to this deck is you lose to Nash Blossom, all right? Sometimes they Ash Blossom you. Sometimes they Effect Failure you. Sometimes you get Infinite and Permanenced. Uh, I, I'm just going to say that sometimes you're going to have hard times with your going second strategy, Okay. Okay, we, we all in agreement with that? Okay, okay. So, two monsters is the goal. So we have triple copies of Rescue Rabbit. This card is going to expedite the triple monster process for us. Banishing itself with the ability to special summon two level four or lower normal monsters with the same name from our deck. All right, easy stuff. Now, what are some of these normal monsters? Now, you can adjust and try to get cheesy with some of these normal monsters. Uh, I'm going to leave that up to you. There are some little interactions that kind of matter. So we have triple copies of Beckoned by the World Chalice. His battle and Mextosius never seemed to end. Even with their forest was invaded by the Mextrosius insects, he stood his ground and inspired other defenders around him. Uh, by the way, not 1900, but 1800. All right, it's truly an apex. We have triple copies of Chosen by the World Chalice, inspired by the World Hero Legends. He heard as a boy, this crusader adds a piece of to his armor from every mectrocity he destroys. He has set out on a quest from the Fairy Lee to recover the seven world legacies and save the world. By the way, I like how this is 1600, by the way. What a nice little crazy number. And then we have Crowned by the World Chalice. With her magical staff, she can channel the living heart of her world to shield her uh, people from the Mech Knights that have overrun, blah, blah, blah. All right, so we have the entire World Chalice normal monster engine at our disposal. Now, we also have two copies of the Ultimate Wizard in terms of attack and defense. And we also have two copies of a Ferocious Dragon with a deadly attack. Now, we also have triple copies of Fire Reaper, a Reaper with a flaming arrow that burns the enemy to a crisp on a 700-500. And then we also have triple copies of Slime Toad. Now, I do want to possibly include Totally Awesome in this deck, 
I know, I know, right? To totally awesome. It's kind of one of the old ideas that a lot of the vanilla decks kind of pulled from was this concept of wanting to explore the possibility of making this Toru Paru Slime Toad combination deck where you could just make totally awesome off of one rescue cat normal summon. It's kind of cute. Is it consistent? No, not at all. But I mean, we're here on the 12 days of Christmas with these random inspired ideas. Now, we have triple copies of Dark Ruler No More. This is going to be the thing that's going to allow you to play the game going second. Your optimal hand is going to be a Dark Ruler No More and the Rescue Cat, or the Rescue Rabbit. That way you can stun the entire field of the opponent, drop the rabbit on the field, summon out your two guys, link them into effect monsters, and then you're going to make the Dragoon off of the Verte, you're going to snap, snap away their monsters, and then you're going to attack directly with the Dragoon. Alright, as long as they have things that are over 2500 attack, done, you win. It's as easy as that, all right? And uh, I know that it kind of stinks that you're gonna have to draw a, a, a three of to be able to pull this off or the droplet, but it shouldn't be an issue. Now, this is, this is actually where the level three and lower aspect of the deck comes in. So you can pay 800 life points, excavate four cards from the top of your deck, and special summon all excavated level three or lower normal monsters. Also, after that, shuffle the rest back into the deck. Truthfully, it doesn't really matter um, what you're trying to do as the sub-monsters. It's up to you. The big thing is, if you're playing things like the Slime Toads and the Taru Porus, you'll be able to make the Totally Awesomes um, if you really want to go down that path. Or you can kind of play any other combination of things. Uh, it, it's, once again, up to you what you want to do. But like I said... The big thing here is, for a pay 100, you get an Excavate 4, with your best value getting a special summon 4, your worst value getting none. But, what is it? 19 of our cards in our deck are normal monsters, of which, okay, so level 3 or lower. So, alright, so we have 3, 6, 9, 12. I'm going to just quickly shovel this here. Oh, look. <laughs> oh, man, the ni nice bricku. That's a vanilla hand. But hey, we have the unexpected die, so we are getting to the Dragoon. And we got the, un the of course, we get one on this, but that's fine. All right, so, all right, Enchanting's not horrible in the grand scheme of things. We have the Triple Droplet, much like I said on the Dark Ruler No More, you're going to be using this to passively make sure that we can get to the next turn to punish the opponent and snap. We have Triple Copies of the Red Eyes Fusion. Of course, we need this. Uh, you could, I guess, try to play the Red Eyes Insight in here, but I feel like you're just going to bulk down the deck. Triple Copies of some of our other vanilla monster. Then we have Triple Copies of inner, yeah, Infinite and Permanence. Yay, hand traps. Alright, extra deck. Triple Copies of the Verte Machine. One Abermax, just in case we need a Link 4 to assist us. Ah, Triple Copies of Link Spider. Hmm. Once per turn, we can special summon one level 4 lower normal monster from her hand who zones card points to. So any normal monster actually starts combo. If you open up with any of this, except for, you know, Dark Magician or Red Eyes, you get the ability to just special summon and then make that into another monster. Now, we do have the triple copies of Vimduk here. So during your main phase, you can normal summon one World Child's monster in addition to your normal summoner set. As the start of damage up, this card battles an opponent's monster, this card points to, you can destroy that opponent's monster. If this card is sent from the field of the graveyard, you can special summon a World Child's monster from your hand. Combo extender. Alright. We have one copy of IP Mascarena, one copy of Hulk, and then triple copies of the Red Eyes, Dark Dragoon Man himself. So I deck we have one Artifact Scythe, two copies of the Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries, triple copies of Lightning Storm, triple copies of a Pointer, triple copies of Artifact Sanctum, with triple copies of Solemn Judgment actually wrapping up this interesting hodgepodge of a deck. Now, like I said, you can adjust your normal monsters how you see fit. Uh, it's kind of the glory, or the really nice thing about Yu-Gi-Oh! is you get the ability to test out different things, and this really open-ended concept gives you that diversity to do that. So this wraps up the fourth day of Deck Profiles 
and goodies for everybody. And I, I do want to ask, guys, please do get in there. Please do take these prizes off my hands. I do these giveaways every year for you guys. Something for those people out there that might not get the chance to do anything. I know it's random, but it is something. And I hope it does make the people that win at least a little bit happier in this year if you call it that. So guys, please make sure you leave a comment down below. Make sure you guys get in and in. Make sure you guys follow the channel for more. Subscribe. All right? And I'll see your beautiful faces later on in the day. Peace out. Thank you, patrons, for making the ride never truly end. Without you guys' support, well, I would probably be doing Truffle Shuffle videos for a living. Guys, please check out Van Call 40 for all of your card fight Vanguard content brought to you by M Call 40. And... If you are looking to pick up singles, check out mcolgames.com for your trading card game needs. Thanks for watching, everybody.